Dhammapala set up. The inner offering that he wants is what the guru or the teacher or the master or the Dharma text has instructed you. The lessening of one's negative emotions by applying, applying the countermeasures. Study, meditation, meditation on death and impermanence to counter those emotions. If you don't do that, why do you think you'll have good things in the future? Why do you think doing negative things will pre create positive circumstances? Some people sacrifice animals, and in the past even human beings to the gods, whatever gods they believe in, believing that it will bring good fortune. Then I want to ask a question. Then what are the causes to go to hell? If killing animals and killing human beings to offer to the gods bring good fortune and it's good action, then what are the causes of going to hell? Being nice to others? Saving people's lives? Makes you go to hell? Doesn't make sense. So we wish to have pleasant words. We wish to have the Dharma. We should have protection. We need to have the favor of our Dharma protector. Then by being mean to others, pleases him. By disobeying the Dharma, what's the Dharma? Some god or some Buddha ordering you around? No, human ethics. By countering human ethics, do you think that he will help you? Or things, good things will come as a result? You see, we, have, we can't escape from the fundamental practice of cause and effect. That's the fundamental teachings of Buddha is cause and effect. What it is is this, we need to take responsibility. So when we take responsibility for our speech and our actions, creating harmony, creating love, transforming our motivation, lessening our indulgences, involving more in Dharma practice and work, when we do that, that's an inner offering, etc. When you do that, you create the actual merit for him to help you. It's like a bridge from one side of the village, uh, one side of the valley to the other. It's a bridge. Every time we say something negative to someone, every time you push yourselves away from enlightenment. You push yourselves away from the three jewels and your Dharma protected. Every time, every word, even if the other person is wrong, when we do that, we push ourselves away. Every single time. That alone. Whether it's our husband, whether it's our friend, whether it's Dharma brother, whether it's a kid, or whatever, every time we're negative with our speech, every time we cut them with our speech or say something ugly with our speech, we create more ugliness and more people to not like us. You see, we don't have confidence. We don't like ourselves sometimes. We feel people put us down. We feel that people look down on us. People look down on us is because we created karma for them to look down on us. So if we tell people you look down on us and we, we're worried about that, to create the causes for them not to look down on us is not to shout and scream, but is to be noble and push ourselves and make more effort to achieve something. That's much better. So what happens is, is the inner offering is the transformation of one's mind from a less harmful person to our wife, to our husband, to our children, to our co-workers, to our friends, to our enemies. When we lessen that by, by meditation, by logic, and by learning, and by knowing why. Not simply saying, I want to be a better person. That's all the new age people are saying that, but it's not happening. But by actually applying, listening to teachings like today, making an effort for it, listening to it, and then going back and contemplating and meditating and supplementing it with reading and applying that to meditation, you will see your mind transform. When your mind transform, you will see your speech transform. You will see your action transform. You will see the people around you transform, the environment transform. Then you don't have to avoid eye contact. You don't have to be nervous and scared. You don't have to hide anymore. Why? When you do Dharma practice, the more you do, the less fear. The less you do, the more fear. Very simple. The more Dharma practice you do, the less fear. The less Dharma practice, the more fear. We have always lived in fear. It's time we stop. So, the inner offering, etc., is that. 